Today we're going to deal with the backlash on the manual mill. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the backlash and we're going to pull the table toward us by rotating the crank counterclockwise. And we're going to adjust our dial to zero. Then we're going to adjust our dial indicator to zero. So now the backlash is out. And we have our indicator. And we have our dial set to zero. Now the reason we have backlash is this. Here's one of our screws. This screw is one half by 20, meaning it's a half inch round and it has 20 threads per inch. So if we divide one by 20, we get 0.05, which 50 thousandths. So that means that each rotation of this screw, this nut will move 50 thousandths in one direction or the other. Now in order for it to do that, it has to have some clearance. If we didn't have clearance, it wouldn't move. That's where this slop comes from. We've got about, oh, we've got about a thousand, maybe a thousandth and a half here. So let's move this forward. We've taken all our lash out. Let's move this forward 50 thousandths. 45, 50, right there. Now you notice we're a couple thousand short up here. Now here's why. Here's what we need to do. Let's start back at zero again. And we're going to go ten thousandths past. Then we're going to back it up. And there we are. Zero and 50. We've gone 50 thousandths by bringing it back taking the lash out. Now let's bring it back to zero again. Zero and zero. Now let's go a hundred thousandths. Fifty. A hundred. Let's go a hundred and ten. Now let's back it up. There's zero and zero. <clears throat> so that's how we take the lash out. Now suppose we want to go just 1,000. Let's back this up to zero. Let's say we just want to go 5,000 or 10,000. Let's use 10,000. We'll go over to 20. We'll come back to 10. We've got 10,000 here. We've got 10,000 there. It takes a little bit of practice, but that's how we get the lash out.